Hi guys, how are you today? Let's talk about Valentine's week. So we'll talk about Valentine's week because I was out for lunch with my wife and our friend Connie Bowman and Connie was like, oh, I really like your videos. Why don't you do something on Valentine's? And I was like, I don't wanna do that. But Connie's smarter than I am. So every time Connie says something, I have a tendency to listen. So, okay, Connie, we'll do it on, you know, love Valentine's. Um, I'm blessed. I get an I love you at least three times a day. I'm always told that. And even though I'm not the big one with it, I get it. And I've learned how important it is to hear that. I don't take it for granted. Uh, it's taught me to use the words more. Um, I get on my partner's nerves every day. But I know that she loves me. That I know, and I know that she has my back. It's something that's really important. I know that she has my back. Um, we didn't get into the relationship just because it was flowers and cherries. There was a, a child that came into it. I became a stepdad. Um, with all that being said, you know, it wasn't always easy, but my wife was really good about teaching me something that I had had shoved down inside of me for years and didn't know it. Um, I had associated anger with abandonment because when I saw people when I was younger, when they got angry, they left. They literally would leave. You know, they'd get in a vehicle, a car, a bus, a train, and they would leave. So anytime anybody got upset at me or you're angry with me, I go, wow, they're going to leave. She told me that wasn't true. She would just go, I'm not leaving. I just hate you right now. I'm like, oh, okay, honey. Um, and that was true. In the moment, she go, I want to strangle you. Who would leave their underwear in a refrigerator? You know, well, that's a long story, but let's not get into it. So keeping that love constant means that she has to deal with all kinds of crazy stuff, and I do too. You know, I, my wife put the oven on the other day to clean it, self-cleaning oven. You know, and I had cooked something and left a spatula, rubber spatula, on, the, on top of the oven. And I hear this yelling, you know, well, you know, I, she goes, why, why would you leave a, you know, rubber spatula on the oven? And I was like, I oh, don't know, I'm sorry, I'll put it away. I, I didn't think it would melt, you know, if it got that hot, man, that's a bad oven. But you don't argue that point. You just take the spatula and put it away. Now, I brought up that point only because those little things pile up all the time. And they're the things that create blow ups. But the truth is we have to allow. We have to allow people to get angry. We have to have allow people to have the habits that they have. We have to allow, 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 allow. First and foremost, you're supposed to work on yourself in a relationship before you can work together. And I've been shown that by my partner and by other people who are in great relationships that do so. Um, one of my dearest, closest guy friends, uh, you know, he's married with four daughters. That guy has had to, has learned to express, also has learned to receive love. That's the whole thing too, allowing yourself to receive love. And with four daughters, you're gonna get that. Um, you know, he's taught me a lot too about loving those who can't love back in a moment. Teenagers don't always do that. You know, when you love someone and they don't necessarily love you back in those moments, but you love them. You know, soulmates isn't just about we're happy and we're twin flames. We're twin flames. You know, you're both going to set yourself on fire if you don't knock it off. I have a challenge for everybody who's angry that they're not in a relationship. And there are you that are out there. I don't have one. Why don't I have one? I won't settle. Don't settle. Don't ever settle. But you are going to receive what you're putting out. So it's either or it's, it's your choice. If... I thought it's when I relaxed, it's when I didn't worry anymore about whether I was gonna find somebody. I knew I was okay, I would find somebody. I knew it internally, someone came. The other thing too is people ask me, are we destined to meet certain people? For years I said, mm, I don't think so. I think you know we build that energy and we draw someone to us. Well, I might be wrong about that. I think we are to some degree destined to meet others in this lifetime from our other lifetimes 
either to work through or to renew. You know, the relationships that I have had have been interesting. I was a jerk in my early relationships. Probably somebody watching now going, that son of a bitch, kill him. I was. I was a schmuck. I didn't relate well. Um, I didn't. It, it wasn't a good deal. I, I, I didn't know how to receive love. I acted out of turn all the time. But it's different now. And I'm blessed for it. I bless everybody that's out there. But I challenge you to take a look at all the relationships around you, especially those of you who are upset or angry that you haven't found someone yet. If you're in a circle of friends, I can guarantee you at least if it's 10, six to seven of them aren't having a great time. So don't always think that marriage or being in relationship is the solution. The universe may be allowing you to have the most important relationship you will ever need, the one with yourself. The relationship that I have had, you know, I had to have a one with myself for a long period of time. And I challenge you guys to have a relationship with yourself. If you're having fun with yourself, you're doing stuff with yourself that people see that you're having a great time, you will absorb that energy of someone else coming in to share that with you. I challenge you guys. Happy Valentine's Day.